Hi guys, my name is Mr. Welcome back to the Amazing Spider-Man 2. It all makes sense. Last episode. This becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. You go ahead. The public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. It's not that I'm disinterested in what he's saying. It's just the fact that like every time I start to start an ep decide to start an episode. Wow. Ah! Every time I decide to start doing an episode, they decide to filibust for about a good minute. By then, <laughs> y'all don't stick around to see the rest of the freaking episode. So like, what am I supposed to do? I mean, hell, I mean y'all could stick around. Harry probably knows more about Fisk than anyone. That it? Oh, we're going to go see Harry. All right, thank you. Anyways, <laughs> last episode we fought Felicia, and that was that was difficult. Like, uh, as I stated at the beginning of this series, I've never played the game, or at least not, I don't think I've ever beaten, but I think I've never played it, because, my gosh, I don't think I've ever had difficulty in a boss fight like that before. Uh, there's a lot that got cut out, like, what I think I'll show you guys just three tries, but, like, there was a lot more tries fighting Felicia than that, so, <laughs> getting into it. Oh, the civilians are not liking me anymore because of the whole menace thing now. It'll be all right. Terry's more likely to talk to his old pal Peter Parker than some nut in a costume. Don't make me walk around. Just, just give me the, just give me the cinematic. Wow, everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. <coughs> oh. Not really. Oh, no, no, the missing link. business private. But as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. Oh. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben, I guess I wanted to believe you wanted a father. Your dad and figure. mom. I know what Just that's write like. off his mother? What the hell? My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? Oh gosh. Uh, how does this relate to cross species? I don't care. We're friends with hey, him. Let's talk to him I'm about sorry. this. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's got to be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. They just do that, or is yours more progressive? I don't know. That was never really explained. Was Harry's more progressive? Because his dad did not die from the from the disease till like really late in life. So if if it is basically if it's not progressive, then he would have had like ten years before it really started taking a toll. At that point, probably Oscorp would have, like, progressed far enough into actually doing some good into helping him. But, I don't know. He just got like, I don't want to cure this now. 
I can't take off my shirt Is in the pool. Is that why Norman started the cross species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Which also sprouted um, the symbiote. Because in the amazing uh, Spider-Man comics, they created a synthetic symbiote. Or they studied the symbiote together. I forget. It, it was more explained in the uh, Ultimate Spider-Man game. The Ultimate Spider-Man comics. My bad. Sorry. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure. But it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it. And protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. <sighs> but it was a mistake to work with Fisk. You can see the veins in his eyes. Yeah. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Again, it took years for, for Norman to die. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes, you still yeah. need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. This was a hard scene to watch in the movie. Because, like, Harry, like, just depended on Peter. I know he wasn't talking to... He didn't know he was talking to Peter, but, like, he was like, this is my last line for, like, any sort of help. Now I get to walk around. Who can resist that? Task force will focus on you if you are viewed as a menace. Help the civilians around town. Uh, I guess I do have to fight or help. Oh, how boring. I got to do my spider job. Stop. Stop doing this snap thing. Whee! We have a report of suspects attempting to enter a locked building. Evening, gentlemen. I mean... Afternoon, right sorry. Webs do your stuff. you. Ow. Skinny, ain't you? Well, thank you. I've been working out. I work out. If you want to know my routine, it's beating up you guys. Take you on any day. On. I'm sorry, what was that? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> I'll take you on, Mono. Trash. I can Ooh. check that one off my list. Thank you, cause I can't see it in the bottom, at the bottom right of my screen. Is there a bomb up here? I think there's a bomb up here. <laughs> Another oxygen bomb. There's a bomb over there. <laughs> There's a bomb over there. The and see if I sense anything. <laughs> oh, there it is. So what am I doing about this? Pick it up. One safe place for this. The bottom of the river. <sighs> Where's the bottom of the river? <sighs> oh! Hustle it up, Spidey. I'm gonna die. If my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. It'll I don't think that's very prevalent right now, Spider-Man! Go, no go, 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 go! At least the river can't oh. get any more polluted. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Experts now say the bomb was booby-trapped. Spider-Man not only saved the lives of civilians, but also the bomb squad. Oh my god, <laughs> that was too close for comfort. Son of a, oh my god. Oh, wait, are we gonna go talk to Harry right now? 
Wait, so... How did I... I've put this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. We... Oh. Were we not just on... In Harry's Kane, apartment? Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different for me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune. They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, 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 just... just go. Literally giving him credible answers, and yet he's just like, No, you leave me to die. Alright. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. He just wants the ultimate he wants the ultimate hunt, bruh. Actually, you know what? I should end the episode here. I know this was just like talking to Harry, but like I don't want this to go on for too long because I feel like this might actually just turn into the boss fight with Craven. I'm not sure. So anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. Be sure to leave a like, be sure to leave a comment, be sure to subscribe for more we have in the future. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the bell for notifications that we stay up to date for whatever we have in the future. Events or whatnot. Craven and played me like a violin. I'm gonna find out why. I completely forgot where I was. Stay strong. It's almost another day. I hate it when they do that.